We live in an age of information, where we can access knowledge about almost anything with just a few clicks. Yet, this access to information has created a new problem, the growing discomfort of self-diagnosing symptoms and signs related to disease and infections. When we experience unusual symptoms, it's tempting to turn to the internet or ask ChatGPT for answers. We search for possible illnesses that match our symptoms, read personal anecdotes, and scour online forums. This process, however, can be fraught with uncertainty and anxiety. The internet is a powerful tool, but it cannot replace the expertise of a doctor who has been trained in medical schools and hospitals for more than 10 years. Self-diagnosis, diagnosis, and treatment offered by a nurse or chemist using a protocol leads to unnecessary worry and incorrect treatment. It can also delay seeking timely and appropriate medical care, resulting in complications and even death. According to a study published in medical journals, diagnostic errors committed by primary care professionals are now the third cause of death. Healthcare systems around the world continue to inflict fear to increase demand, accept vaccinations to hold wealth. Increasing demand has escalated the cost of care, but the quality of care has dropped in primary care. Medical errors in diagnosis and treatment has become the major cause of death all over the world. Encouraging consultations, performing tests, and treatment that are not necessary has increased cost, delay in diagnosis, and even death. 94% of families of hospitalized patients in India are bankrupted, and this is unethical, and my mission is to stop social inequalities in health that has brought us shame. This not only puts a strain on healthcare resources, but also poses risks to patients' health. The human body is complex, and symptoms can manifest in countless ways. What seems like a minor issue could be a sign of a serious underlying condition. In 1996, I published a letter in BMJ criticizing using the pre-printed assessment sheet. I said, Every person who seeks medical attention tells a story of illness as they have lived, experienced, and remembered, and so it continuously varies. The allure of self-diagnosis is understandable. We want to understand what's happening to our bodies, and we want to be in control of our health. However, self-diagnosis can be misleading and potentially harmful if you seek help from friends, family, or non-medically trained individuals. Recognizing that common medical illness diagnosis is a complex process involving symptoms and signs is essential. Physical examination and often additional tests are used to confirm the clinical diagnosis and cannot be used as a sole method to diagnose any illness. This process takes time and expertise to interpret, and more than 20% to 30% of these results are false, positive, or negative. This can be psychologically traumatic. They live in fear and so suffer throughout their life. While the internet can provide some information about a single symptom, it does not offer advice based on the combination of symptoms like doctors do, so it cannot replicate the nuanced understanding of a medical professional. The uncertainty of self-diagnosis using algorithms that can lead to a cycle of anxiety and fear motivated us to develop tools called Maya. If a symptom show is red, it means you should speak to a doctor, and you must consult a doctor if two symptoms are red. If all the symptoms are red, you must go to hospital and not waste time thinking. Green allows you to speak to a nurse and not a doctor. And yellow connect you to the local chemist who will offer advice and treatment. If the symptom is blue, you may be infectious and so advise the user to isolate to protect family and advice to not to rush to hospital or clinic. The app will also tag user and alert infectious disease controller if there are clusters of infected people in one airs and help them impose quarantine. So, Maya helps users understand the urgency of their symptoms, identify infected individual, prevent epidemics and pandemics. Maya doesn't just stop at giving you a color-coded result, but link to short videos and links to CDC websites with information to educate the user. The explainer videos define list possible causes and advice to speak to a chemist, nurse, doctor or rush to hospital only if necessary. It's clear that Maya fills a crucial gap in healthcare. Symptoms are the body signaling that something is wrong. The symptoms can be physical or psychological. They are like warning lights on a car's dashboard. However, deciphering these signals can be challenging. Symptoms are what you feel and experience, and so can be vague, overlapping, and easily misinterpreted. What might seem like a simple headache could be caused by various factors, 
ranging from stress to dehydration to a more serious medical condition. The abundance of medical information online can exacerbate the problem. People tend to read small print and assume they have an illness or disease. Searching for symptoms online often leads to a long list of possible diagnoses, many of which are unlikely, but can trigger anxiety and fear. This can create a sense of overwhelming uncertainty because the driver of thought spirals out of control, diving deep into an emotional black hole, resulting in fear. It's easy to fall into the trap of worst case scenario thinking, leading to unnecessary stress and panic. The human body is not a machine with easily identifiable parts. Illness is not always a fixed reality with clear cut answers. Symptoms can be subjective and vary significantly from person to person. The same illness can manifest differently in different individuals. This complexity makes self-diagnosis unreliable and potentially dangerous if you seek help from non-medically trained doctors. Misinformation online further complicates the matter, causing delays in diagnosis and devastating complications, sepsis, and even death. Not all sources of medical information are created equal. Some websites prioritize sensationalism over accuracy. Others promote unproven or even harmful treatments. Being critical of online information and relying on reputable sources is essential. Modern healthcare often relies on standardized protocols. These protocols streamline medical practice and ensure consistency in treatment that can only help seven to eight patients, and not everyone. If protocols, guidelines, and test results were 100% accurate, we would have created software to help us diagnose and manage patients in the 1980s. Investors are investing to create software using artificial intelligence, claiming to offer the best healthcare advice and treatment. I knew we cannot use AI to offer healthcare advice and treatment because I wrote algorithm in 1985, created PAT, the pediatric assessment tool, and tested this hoping to systemize healthcare years before Google existed. This helped me train junior doctors and reduce hospitalization of children but not diagnose any illness. I stopped working on this and started searching for a solution to fight MRSA infections. However, they have limited doctor's ability to address individual patient needs because of threats from the medical council and the court. Protocols are designed for the average patient and not everyone. They may not account for the unique circumstances and complexities of each case. Guidelines can lead to a disconnect between the patient's experience and healthcare professionals. Patients are not data points on a chart. They are individuals with unique stories, anxieties, and expectations. Healthcare should be a collaborative process. It should involve open communication and shared decision-making. Rigid protocols can hinder this process. They can make patients feel their concerns are not being heard or addressed. This can lead to frustration and distrust in the doctor-patient relationship. The emphasis on protocol can overshadow the human element of medicine. Medicine is not just about following procedures or dishing out drugs like Smarties. It's about understanding the patient's narrative, fears, and hopes. It's about building trust and rapport to provide effective and compassionate care. When protocols become too rigid, they can dehumanize the healthcare experience. This can leave patients feeling unheard and misunderstood. While protocols are essential for ensuring quality and safety in healthcare, they should not overshadow the importance of individualized care. Patients should feel empowered to ask questions, express concerns, and participate in healthcare decisions. This is what Maya is designed to do. Know what is happening in your body and organs, understand the signs, and offer the right solution to help alleviate pain, suffering, and prevent complications. Navigating the world of health information requires balance. We need to be informed about our health without succumbing to self-diagnosis anxieties. The key is to cultivate self-awareness without venturing into self-treatment. Understanding our bodies and recognizing potential warning signs is crucial, but it's equally crucial to know when, where, and who to seek professional help. The internet can be a valuable resource for general health information. We can use it to learn about common illnesses, read about the disease, and preventive measures we must undertake, but it cannot be used to self-diagnose or make healthy choices. However, when it comes to specific symptoms or concerns, it's best to be smart, read, use the Dr. Maya app, and know what to expect before you rush to consult a doctor. A medical professional will conduct appropriate examinations and order tests that are necessary to help manage the illness. 
Self-awareness involves paying attention to our bodies and noticing any changes. It means being attuned to our physical and mental well-being. This awareness can help us identify potential problems early on. It can motivate us to seek professional guidance when needed. Self-awareness is about being proactive about our health, but it's not about replacing the expertise of a doctor. Empowering patients to participate in their healthcare decisions is essential. Patients should have the correct information, feel comfortable asking the right questions, discuss their concerns, and understand their treatment options. I have seen numerous demanding patients and parents expecting me to answer either stupid questions or only God could answer. Remember, open communication fosters trust and collaboration in the doctor-patient relationship. If you are demanding, he or she will quickly refer you to another doctor or psychiatrist, and so the duration of illness and suffering will be prolonged. Always read, ask Dr. Maya, and watch the videos published in Demystify Medical Symptom before you consult or speak to a doctor. A couple of minutes spent will lead to better healthcare outcomes and a more positive experience for both parties. Timely diagnosis is crucial for effective treatment. Delaying medical attention can worsen conditions and complicate recovery. When we experience unusual or persistent symptoms, seeking professional advice promptly is vital. Early detection and intervention can significantly improve the chances of successful treatment. In many cases, what might seem like a minor issue can be a symptom of a more serious underlying condition. The Dr. Maya app can help prevent this. Ignoring these symptoms can have significant consequences. It's always better to err on the side of caution and seek medical advice. A Dr. Maya can assess the situation, rule out severe conditions, and provide appropriate guidance. The fear of a severe diagnosis can sometimes prevent people from seeking medical attention, but not all the symptoms you assume to be serious are often severe. However, delaying diagnosis only increases the risk of complications. Timely diagnosis allows for early intervention and increases the likelihood of a positive outcome. It's natural to feel anxious about potential health issues, but it's important to remember that early diagnosis is often the key to effective treatment. Seeking medical advice does not necessarily mean undergoing extensive testing or invasive procedures. A simple consultation and physical examination can often provide sufficient reassurance or identify the need for further investigation. The goal is to address concerns promptly and prevent potential problems from escalating. The rise of digital health tools has created new opportunities for patient empowerment. Misinformation online further complicates the matter, causing delays in diagnosis and devastating complications, sepsis, and even death. Not all sources of medical information are created equal. Some websites prioritize sensationalism over accuracy. Others promote unproven or even harmful treatments. Being critical of online information and relying on reputable sources is essential. Maya aims to address these challenges by using AI-generated videos to watch, listen, and make informed decisions about their care. Please follow my YouTube channel, Demystify Medical Symptoms, download Dr. Maya app, Share the link with family and friends. Like Albert Einstein said, the world will not be destroyed by evil, but by people who watch them without doing anything. So please act now. Understanding the threat of antimicrobial resistance is crucial for everyone, especially healthcare workers. Stay vigilant, stay informed, and prioritize your health and safety. Thank you.